Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Why am I back over here? Well, it's because I realized that I probably shouldn't actually do the next dungeon this part. <laughs> You'll see why in just a sec here. Oh, by the way, you can talk to certain trees even though they shoot bombs at you like Octorox. Quit bothering me and watch where you're going when you dash around. <laughs> yeah, I, just in the dark world there are trees like that. Um, but yeah, since I got 999 rupees, remember I kind of went overboard with that 300 chest, um, I would like to go into Thieves Town here, as well as some other mini games that are luck based, and try and get the heart pieces from them, starting with this one right here. Yes, I would like to try this. So there's a heart piece in one of these chests randomly, and you gotta pay 30 rupees each time to try it. And, nope, that's, that's a total loss. <laughs> I can get those two things from anywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. This could take many, many tries, which is why I'm doing this when I had 999 rupees. Ten arrows. Rupeed. <laughs> nope. Not this run. Nope, nope. I really hate luck-based stuff like this, in all honesty, because it's like, you pay rupees out the wazoo, and, well, I mean, you, yeah, you can win them back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but, yeah, you can sometimes win them back, but it just sometimes takes so, so long, and it's so, so cumbersome to actually win those things. It's ridiculous. Oh, see that little guy over there? You probably recognize its movements if I come close. Yeah, it's a thief. It only it's the Dark World version called a Piku. So don't, don't touch him. Do not touch them. And, oh, no, 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 do not. Do not, and I mean do not. No, do not. I'm telling you. Yes, these are the Kukos in the Dark World. Do not. And yes, this is obviously something. But I'm not going to really explore this thing all that well, uh, well right th this part, because, well... Uh, well, hold on, I'll show you something here. This little sign. Uh, this is the Village of Outcasts! People without rupees are not welcome here. So, yeah, Village of Outcasts, that's what it is, not the Thieves' Town. But anyway, um, I, I'm not gonna do it now because I have to come back there later, and yeah. Remember this little guy here for later, too, as well. Um, why I'm going down this way is because there's another luck-based minigame, uh, just down here. Not this right here, this is skill-based. It's, uh, shoot the guys in back, the Mimitation Octorox. Well, howdy, Light Worlder! You look like a straight shooter. Wanna try your skill in my shooting gallery? I'll give you five shots for 20 rupees. If you're as sharp as I think you are, you stand at raking the rupees. Yes, I would love to! Alright, so five shots. I need to get my bow out here. I like to stand right about here, and then time my shots between the hands, uh, right when one of the Imitation Octoroks passes just past the center of the second curtain from the right. Just watch carefully for the timing, and also you gotta time it with the, yeah, the hands as well. So sometimes the opportunity is just not there, but yeah, you really can rake in the rupees if you're good at this. Uh, ah, one more for a perfect round. Wah! You like those apples. Nah, but you don't you don't get anything else from here. Thank you, thank you, you too. <laughs> you don't get anything else here but rupees, but you know, it's it's fun to play if you'd like to get rupees and you know win them back from that obviously skill I mean luck based uh mini game back there. Oh wait, wait, I took a wrong turn here. I need to go up on that plateau and around the bend here. And I need my shovel. Wait, what? Oh, what sh did I forget to get the shovel? I thought, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, uh, hmm, 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 will you give me a shovel? <laughs> uh, 80 rupees to play? Yes, I would love to dig. Okay, he'll lend me a shovel, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I could have swore that, uh, well, anyway. Uh, wait, what, what? Lend me shovel? Wait, where's my shovel? What? Who? What? Where? Huh? Have I been gypped? I don't see a shovel in my inventory. <laughs> Hold on a sec, man. You don't have anything else to say here? I don't have... Oh. I see, it's... 
Why button? <laughs> okay, well, there's a heart piece buried in here somewhere. Could be anywhere, and I wasted a lot of time here. Oh, yeah, you can only dig sideways. Why did I... What did I think I had to get a shovel for? I don't know. Maybe I'm think I'm confusing Zelda games together again. Oh, silly PK Gam. Silly PK Gam. Yeah, let's try it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but I can't restart now. I have to go inside a building. Really? Fine. What if I just leave the area and come back? Will that reset your uh, speech? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. More luck base now. Oh, that, he did say press Y button to dig. I clicked through the dialogue too fast. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. <laughs> so, as I was saying, heart piece can be anywhere in the ground. Anywhere. It's a pain. Just keep digging. Keep digging. And it must be done during the course of the minigame, too, if I'm not mistaken. So that's... That's a problem. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you do kind of have a chance of making your rupees back per run, but the thing about it is that you have to redo the runs over and over again, just like that treasure chest game, until you manage to get it. And that's that's the annoying part. <laughs> Alright, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And <laughs> let me in, let me in! I got a got a heart piece to dig for. It's somewhere around in here. I don't think you can dig after um, the minigame is over, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, random spots, anything, anything will be the po potential to give you a heart piece. Anything. Come on, heart piece. God, pff, I just dug in a hole that I didn't, I mean, that I already dug in. The ground is hard as a rock when you get deep enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't dig in anymore once you press Y. Dang! <laughs> oh, well, like, I guess I'll eventually get it in theory. So maybe I'll cut ahead until I get it? Yeah! With one second to spare! <laughs> Alright, I am... Satisfied! Now I can go to another location. I'm thinking... You know where the sanctuary was? You know, in the light world? That's where I'm gonna go for the next heart piece in my quest for 100% completion. I thought, wait, hold on a sec. Actually, as long as I'm down here, I could actually do something else. Um, first I'll get these guys out of the way, because they're gonna- they might bug me while I'm looking for the spot. <laughs> Um, no, 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 I actually think this is the spot. So we go and, no, 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 whoops, go and go for the magic mirror right here. This is actually an indentation, yep, of this place in the light world. So, going in this cave, you will be able to get a heart piece. Yep, I bet you would have never guessed that, you know, because I'm going on a quest for heart pieces. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, we're back to the dark world. <laughs> now, um, I guess, I guess what I could do is flop. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was gonna say, I guess I could flop down to where Lake Hylia Hylia is at the bottom right corner of the screen. You know, the map. But uh, let's first go up here. Actually, just like to show you something. After wandering into this world, I turned into the shape. I enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There is a small grove where many animals gathered. I want to see that place again. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for me? Yes. And I will lend you my shovel. This is where you get the shovel, yeah. <laughs> so you don't really need a shovel for the game. So I need to look for a flute. Where is this flute? Well, oh. So it's this guy. Oh! 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 So where did he bury that thing? I think it was over like... Oops... Over here... Somewhere... There it is! Woohoo! It's the Aquino Oh No, no, it's... It's just flute. So what's, what does this do? Let's play it! And... It doesn't do anything. Well, it most certainly will do something in the future. Uh, as a matter of fact, maybe I'll... Uh, do that now, uh, as long as I'm partial. Wait, am I in 
like a, a an able area to do this uh because i need to go back over here in the light world it would be really nice to do actually so yeah i'm gonna do the uh rigama roll here by going with a magic mirror and then going like this which will allow me to open a pathway past the river and back over to the thieves town well you know not thieves town of this world <laughs> Uh, but the reason why I want to go over there is because if I were to play said flute at a certain spot... Oh, <laughs> Dang you, Ledge. Dang you, Ledge. If I were to play said flute at a certain spot, I'll be able to warp around the places in the world. I won't have to do all this walking, which will save my legs quite a bit of iron. <laughs> Uh, I forgot when the game hints that you can do this, but I'm just going to do it now because I have the uh, opportunity to... Uh, at least I... Th hold on, do I have to play the flute? I forgot the exact... Uh, okay, I, I do have to play the flute here. Okay, I thought you move that thing and then play it down below or something like that, but you'll see. And it explodes! <laughs> We got this duck! Well, kinda. <laughs> so what did that do, exactly? Well, play the flute and you shall see! Now you can warp to all sorts of different locations. Is this not incredibly handy? You know it is. <laughs> so, in this case, but uh, unfortunately you can only do this in the light world. Yeah, I know it's sad. Oh wait, I gotta go back to a spot that I can transform the world on this side. So I guess I'm gonna go through the woods now and uh, flip the world around. So be right back. Now what I'm gonna do is go up this way and do some exploration. Uh, starting with, oh here's a, here's the a, uh, version of the fortune teller in the dark world. I might as well show this as long as I'm here for kicks too. Yeah, <laughs> just like tinier or something. Hmm, you look like you might have an interesting destiny. May I tell your fortune? Yeah, sure, why not? I already know where to go, but just to see if there's anything new to going on here in your dialogue. The true hero will dump, jump into the well near the smithy shop. Oh, that's, that's actually not what I was thinking of. <laughs> that's for something a little bit later, but yeah, I could do that now too, I suppose. Uh, what I really want to do here is go over to where the blacksmiths were uh, in the light world. So I guess I can just flip over now. Uh, just got to remember where that spark spot of sparkliness is because I can't... Yeah, I can't use the mirror more than once without using up that sparkly spot. So yeah, but anyway, the reason why I want to go up here and avoid taking hits along the way... No, I really don't have to, is because remember that tree that they were cutting? Well, they're done cutting it, but th this tree is now done something else. <laughs> yes! It's hollow! That's why it was, they felt weird cutting into it, because it, it was hollow, it wasn't solid. So, plopping down here, you've got yourself a fairy fountain. It's an okay location for one, I guess. And more importantly, the heart piece that we've seen from the other side, um, in the cave behind the house. Remember we went through this cave before? And I said we were going to get it later. Later is now. <laughs> so you got a whole new heart container, this part. And I have no idea where those woodcutters went off to. What a shame. What a shame, isn't it? Now, um... Um, um, um... Um, whoa, whoa, I'm being bombarded by everything here. Uh, <laughs> and yet I didn't take any hits. That's nice. Where should I go next? I'm thinking... Dark World. And... I'm actually not sure. <laughs> actually, what I want to do here is go south... Well, I don't know, maybe that's kind of far off uh, for side questing. Hmm. 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 Because I, I want to do the whole Lake Hylia thing when I do that in the future. You know, for the sake of organization. I don't think I can do the thing that's at the graveyard right now. Uh, I should say the Dark World graveyard. If I were to go over to this side, because I think there is 
uh, black skulls in the way, and that, that prevents you from going into said... Oh wait, actually I could do something here! Uh, hold on, not, not this cave in specific, but I'm talking about something else. Hey, you're a target! <laughs> hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. Ah, eh, sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you. To tell you the truth, I found incredible beauty inside the pyramid, but someone sealed the door. You can't do anything with a standard bomb, they say. So that uh, cracked wall you may have seen back at the pyramid. Yeah, you can't break that with your typical bomb. Uh, but anyway, what I'm looking for that I can do at this particular time is 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 right over here use the magic mirror up from these stairs and look at this you end up on this plateau uh, behind the graveyard and 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 you'll probably notice the wall there i hate when the inventory is not full because you it's so it feels so unpredictable to get that cursor to move where you want it to <laughs> but anyway Heartbeats! Oh yes, so sparkly, so delightful. All right. Whoa! Oh, oh, right. <laughs> I'm against the wall. Yeah, if you if you use the magic mirror or something and you end up at a place that you could normally walk on, it'll automatically transport you back to whatever world you were at prior. Um, I wanted to sneak through, but I failed. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think you can do anything here in particular, if you could even call this a graveyard. <laughs> it looks more like a shrine of worship or something like that. Uh, I'm a fairy, hello. They can sometimes appear randomly at, plot at places, I even though this one's kind of... Kind of not being friendly to me. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do here now. Actually, looking at the time, I probably should end off the part here anyway. Um, what I think I'll do between parts is remember those warp portions of the water that you go like... Um, that you warp between spots in the water in the light world. Like if I were to say, put use the magic mirror here, and then I'll be able to see uh, around this spot. There is a, uh, a whirlpool right over here. Well, if I want to go go in here, uh, because I got so many rupees, I might as well uh, use them to upgrade my stuff off camera, I suppose. And uh, this this still isn't it. Where is the spots? Come on, where is... I suppose I could walk to it. <laughs> it's over at Lake Hylia, but I'm, but I'm surprised that I didn't get warp there like I did before. Like, remember how I flopped over there before when I played... Yeah, I ended up in front of that fairy fountain that you could use to upgrade bombs and uh, arrows. Yeah, I don't know why that's not, not taking me there now. <laughs> I seen that wall over there, don't worry, I seen that wall that you can bomb. I'm just just kinda getting myself set up here for later, because I know the route. See what okay, where does this whirlpool lead then? If they don't keep like cycling around. Just just curious here. Oh, so this is for a different series of whirlpools. Okay. That makes relative sense. <laughs> Alright, so now what I'm going to be doing off-camera here is I'm just going to show you a little bit and off-camera I'm going to uh, do as much as I can with the amount of rupees that I got and upgrade my stuff. So I'm going to throw some rupees in here. I'm going to throw the maximum amount of rupees per time. Uh-huh. My happy is 20. Uh, he became happy every one step. What does that mean? Well, I'll have great luck! Yay! But more importantly, I would like to throw more rupees in here. Yeah, this, this takes forever. Yeah. And I'm gonna throw 20 more in here. It really, really does take forever. <laughs> A little luck. Uh, okay. Eventually, it'll happen. We're gonna, sh we're gonna see it. Come on, game. Come on, game. About 60 rupees. Good luck. All right. <laughs> Come on. More. The pond wants more. <laughs> I'm at 80, and I believe it's 100 per increment here, so yeah, it really does take a while. Eh. Eh. 
And oh shoot! I didn't mean to throw five. Ow! Ow! Big trouble! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Come on! Twenty more! Twenty more! Here you go. Enjoy them. Hope you choke on them. Oh, there's a fairy. <laughs> I want to carry more bombs or I want to carry more arrows. In this case, I'm going to probably focus on bombs because I run out of bombs faster than I do arrows. So, yeah, I increased it by five. Five increments for both the bombs and the arrows. And the same thing will happen for the uh, uh, arrows eventually if you keep throwing rupees into it. Uh, and... Oh, we can actually speed this along here now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, good luck. Okay, so let's put some more in there. Uh-huh. Throw a few. I'm going to be five over the amount, aren't I? <laughs> like, every one now, it's going to be five rupees squandered. I'm going to show you what an arrow upgrade looks like here. Oh, yeah. And that is all. <laughs> I know I said I was going to end off this part like a few minutes ago, but it's just taking me a little longer than expected. And I apologize. Anyway, there's something over here, obviously. Yep, yeah, it's a fairy fountain location. Alright, so now I'm going to officially end off the part here. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I finally, finally use up all the rupees that I want to use up at this moment in time. Probably all of them, actually, because I'm going to be getting a lot more in the future. <laughs>